This is our local hospital, part of the Barts NHS Trust. And every financial year, Barts starts 50 million in the red. And that makes the future of Whips Cross Hospital very uncertain. Why it's 50 million in the red every year is part of the politicians' dirty little secret. And it's called payment by results. And this is how it works. Let's take, for example, cataract surgery. At one hospital, this may cost £900. At another hospital, £1,100. Under payment by results, both hospitals are paid the average of £1,000. In reality, one hospital has been overpaid by £100 and the other hospital has been underpaid by £100. This may not sound much, but remember when you're treating tens of thousands of patients a year and Barts is at the top end of the scale, this is a hell of a lot of money. Why Barts is at the top end of the scale is because it has a PFI that costs over £100 million a year. Lots of hospitals have no PFI, so that when the average is taken, the end result is that Barts only receives 50 million a year and starts every financial year 50 million in the red. This leads to some hospitals being bust and others having millions in the bank. The NHS calls this the net cash balance, and at the end of March 2014, the surplus was £4.3 billion. Who benefits from payment by results? Only the private healthcare companies, because for them, an average price is a fixed price, which means when they tender, there can be certainty in how much money they're going to make and how much profit they're going to make. Can payment by results be reversed? Yes. In 2011, the King's Fund did a report on hospitals in South East London by Keith Palmer. It recognised the problem of average costs and recommended going back to the previous system of paying actual costs. This would not cost the taxpayer or the NHS one penny more because it would just be the same pot divided up differently. There is an alternative vision. That is of a publicly owned, publicly run NHS. That is the vision of most people in this country and its Green Party policy. So on May the 7th, vote for what you believe in Vote green.